The next method of manipulation is preying upon our primal subconscious fears that go back to human antiquity. And here's what they are. Our primal fears are fourfold. The fears that are the deepest rooted in the, in the subconscious mind are the fears of darkness, the fears of predators, the fears, fear of abandonment, and the fear of chaos. So the controllers know this, the sorcerers know this, those who are using mind control understand that we are motivated to avoid these fears. So they use them against us all the time. And here's how it works. See, the sun is the greatest friend of mankind. There would be no life without the sun on this planet. Could never exist without the sun. Sun provides energy, light, heat, warmth, food okay, for, for plants to grow and other animals to live. So there is no life without the sun. The ancients understood this quite readily and that is why the sun is revered and worshipped in many ancient religions and cultures. Winter is a time of the sun not being present, so along with that you get the, the, uh, the cold, you get die, die off of plants, you get the scarcity of food, you get animals coming in and encroaching territory, and things becoming a more dangerous place. So you're looking to the father figure, the strong male dominant father figure for protection protection of those that aren't as strong and are, at, are as physically able to control the surroundings. So when the sun is going down and not present or is absent for a long time as in winter, the, 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 the main source of protection is the male dominant father figure of the, of the tribe or the culture because he is the one that will protect the tribe, protect the family from these guys, the predators, that ties in with the other um, primal fear. So you have the fear of darkness tied in with the fear of predators. And if, if the father figure abandons his people that he is protecting, then they are exposed to the influence of predators. So there is where the fear of abandonment ties in to this story about how these subconscious fears have been working on us since the dawn of mankind, since human antiquities. And when we get into that situation where there may be predators around us, the first thing we're going to cry out for is do something about it. This can't continue to go on. We need to be protected by the big daddy figure, the male dominator father figure, which in our culture has become the governments of the world. Those who we look to for protection and we are dependent upon, we have become dependent upon because they have been propped up as the male father figure of our culture to protect us against any threats. When in fact, the joke is really on us because a predator, if you break the word down, is simply a predator, one who has come before another. And again, this ties in with the ancient uh, mystery traditions, the ancient secret societies that had the information of consciousness, and these are the people who are ultimately in control now, who are calling the shots from behind the scenes, and they are predators to our level of awareness. They've had this knowledge for thousands of years. They know we don't have it. For them, it's almost as simple as shooting fish in a barrel because they have all this knowledge about how we work. We have very little knowledge about how we work and many don't even desire to have it. That's one of the main problems. And they have become the predators, our predators. They're telling us that they're going to prop themselves up as our protectors. But in fact, because of the levels of knowledge they have and how they're using it against us, they're actually our predators, our predators.